Today on Make a Mecky, we're going to make this flip top tool cart. So I have a bit of a confession to make. I actually built this cart about four months ago and I got stuck where it is now and just left it. Now, I've actually somehow misplaced, deleted, lost the footage of actually building the cart. And I realized that it doesn't really matter too much. It's, it's just a box essentially. Um, the most important part of the actual tool cart itself is the mechanism to make the flipping work and and some other little things I'm going to do. But essentially I made a, I made the, the bottom and the top out of two by fours and then skinned it in this old flooring that I had laying around. And I also made sure on the sides to put a few two by fours so that when I screw in the Lazy Susans, which is how I'm going to make the tool cart flip, there is something for the screws to go into and not just into the flooring itself. So as I just mentioned, I'm going to use Lazy Susans, one on each side of the top, which was, which is actually what's going to stop the top from bowing in and out because it'll all be screwed together. And that is why I decided to go with these because it is going to actually hold it tight together. Whereas a pole would let the top freely swing in and out. And I don't think it would be structurally sound. So I've installed the planer and I've put the cord through to in here. Now, a little thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take an extension cord and a power point. I'm gonna cut the end off the extension cord and I'm gonna put a power point on the inside here where the table saw is gonna be. So it'll be hidden. Now I'm not gonna tell you how to wire up the power point or anything like that. Use your own discretion and if need be where you live, get a qualified electrician to do it. All right, that's the tool cart done. I made a couple of handles here for the bolts that hold the um, the swinging mechanism from actually swinging and the hook on the side here to hang the extension cord and that's pretty much it. Now a couple of issues I have come across is the planer is very heavy and I'm going to insert a clip right now of the first time that I put the planer down and wasn't holding it and it uh, almost took out my kneecaps so I need to keep that in mind when I flip it over that the planer is really heavy and if I do have issues, I might think about adding a um, some sort of elastic band or something on the other side so that when I flip it, it doesn't, um, if I drop it, it's not just going to fly down. It will actually slowly come down. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like rating down below. I also want to say thank you to all my current subscribers. I'm coming up on 250 and although small, it's a pretty big achievement for me. I also recently hit 15,000 views which is a massive achievement for me so i just want to say thank you for everyone if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos you can also follow me on social media on facebook and instagram and i'll have links to those down below also i started a podcast recently called clamp podcast and you can check that out on your favorite podcast player or there'll be a link down below to the website 
and I'll see you next time.